Hi, my name is Kevin. I passed the July 2018 California bar exam. The results came out a few weeks ago and showed that under 41% of people passed on their first try. This compares to February where around 27% of people passed on their first try in the California bar exam. These pass rates can seem really low, and they are, but you gotta remember, a lot of these people aren't gonna study as hard or as smart as hopefully you will be. I wanted to make this video because when I was taking the bar exam, I really appreciated additional material like this to give me context and color to my studying during that course of time. So with that, I'll break down a few of my tips that I wish I knew before I started studying for the exam. Tip number one, and this is pretty obvious, but take a bar course. It really doesn't matter which one you select, you're gonna hear varying things from varying people, but at the end of the day, any of the courses are probably gonna be sufficient. I personally took Barbie, which I felt was really good in some areas and very bad in other areas, which is why supplementing your studying with additional material is so important. With any bar prep course, you wanna block out all of your time just to use that bar prep course and the additional materials that you pick up. No matter what bar prep course you're taking, just know that this is your time to study and pay attention and do nothing else. There's no social life, there's no work life, there's nothing else you should be doing during your bar prep course. I know that Barbary is one of the most popular prep courses, so here's a few things that I didn't know before I signed up for Barbary. Number one, the bar prep course is not actually in-person. You can pay for the in-person course, but all it is is a projector projecting what you could study at home. The first day I actually walked in there, and maybe I'm just really foolish when I approached this, but I thought there was going to be somebody in there actually teaching the bar prep course. Turns out that wasn't the case at all. And I know this sounds silly and probably says this online on Barbie's website or somewhere, but it wasn't. It was just simply a projection of what you can learn at home. I'd recommend just taking it at home and watching lectures at home, provided you have the discipline and the space to do it. You're gonna save time going to and from your bar prep course. It's just not worth it. Just sit at home and get it done. Another thing I didn't know about Barbary was that you can watch the lectures at one and a half times speed or two times speed. There's varying levels you can do it. I found this out about halfway through my studies and I wish I would have known it earlier. For example, if you're taking a four hour lecture and you watch it at one and a half times speed, you're gonna save yourself a precious hour of time and energy. This precious hour could be used for review and trust me, over the course of your study over three months, that extra hour here or there really, really adds up. If you watch your lectures a little bit quicker, you're not gonna miss a lot of material and if you do, you can simply rewind or slow it down until you can get that material that they're going over. By and large, this is a small tip, but it will really add up over time. My second tip is to get critical pass flashcards. These are flashcards that give you the black letter law of the eight core MBE subjects that are tested on the multiple choice and on the essays. You can get these critical pass flashcards online. There's a link in the bottom of this video. I think they're around $100, $150. I'm not exactly sure how much, but they are definitely worth it. They're definitely worth getting early on. These flashcards give you the key rules and it breaks down the elements so it's really, really simple to absorb the key black letter law. For example, on contracts, it'll give you offer and it'll show you you need objective manifestation of intent, definite in certain terms, etc., etc. This can seem a little silly, but trust me, every single one of these rules is incredibly important to memorize. You will come across these rules in the critical pass flashcards in the multiple choice and in the essays. One of the key benefits of studying for the bar exam versus a law school exam is they only can select from a finite amount of material on the exam. This is especially helpful when it comes to rules because there's only so many rules in the eight core MBE subjects that they could test on and they're all right here. Critical Pass comes with both the flashcards and an app that you can have on your phone, which is really helpful if you have a few minutes to spare here and there, or you want your friend or significant other or whomever to help you study as well. It may seem a little crazy, but if you get these early on in your studies, perhaps in your last semester of law school, it could be really beneficial and it could be very easy to actually memorize all of these. You have to remember, you've already taken these subjects before, so it'll be recall. It'll be formulated probably a little differently than what you learned, but the key elements are still gonna be there. I felt that for the amount of energy I put into studying the critical pass flashcards, it had the highest return on investment versus any other material that I had here. It was very, very, very efficient use of time. Again, these are critical pass flashcards and I couldn't more highly recommend them. My third tip would be to get this book. It's called Strategies and Tactics for the MBE. 
You can find this on Amazon or probably at Barnes and Noble. I'm not too sure. I got mine on Amazon and I ordered it again about halfway through my studies. It was super helpful. This book is made up of questions that have actually appeared on the bar exam, except for civil procedure, which they formulated some of their questions here because there's not a lot of history on the exam of civil procedure MBE questions. The key thing I like about this book is that it breaks down why the right answer is right and why the other three answers must be wrong. This can seem a little redundant, especially when you're studying and you think you know that the right answer is A and you just skip over B, C, and D. But I can tell you that if you study why the wrong answers are wrong, you're gonna recognize the patterns on the MBE. This book gets you in the mind of the bar examiners because patterns will show up on the exam. Again, there are no gray areas and there's a finite amount of material, which means you will have patterns show up on the MBE. Now, like I said, I took Barbary, which meant that I was relying on their Barbary MBE questions, which I didn't find out until much later were entirely made up by the Barbary staff. There are real MBE questions that you will take through Barbary, but the vast majority of them through your Barbary courses are gonna be made up and very long and very tedious and not like the ones actually on the exam. I liken this to studying for the LSAT with made up questions from an LSAT prep course. It doesn't make any sense. You have to study from the actual materials themselves. The best way to do that, I think, is use Adaptabar. I use this book, just some material where you're getting the real questions themselves. I think that Adaptabar is a good resource as well, but the reason I chose this is because it explained those wrong answers in a very clear way, which I'm not sure Adaptabar did as well. My fourth piece of advice is to write down anything that you missed earlier in the day, whether it was on an MBE question or an essay. One of the worst things you could do in your preparation is to miss a question, read the right answer, and then move on. A very smart thing to do is to write down why you missed the answer, whether it was you didn't know the rule, you didn't know the element, or you just misapplied it to the facts. I got in the habit of using a whiteboard that I wrote down every single day what I missed and why I missed it, and I reviewed that before I started any studying the following morning. I also wrote it down on a physical piece of paper, which helped me memorize it a lot better than simply typing it on my computer. The key thing is you want to review why you missed the wrong answers and review those over and over and over. So the next time you see that question pop up on the exam, you're not gonna miss it. And lastly, some general advice. I recommend doing nothing else during your bar prep, like I stated before, except studying for the bar exam. I know many people have said this, but I can't underscore it enough. You need to just worry about passing the exam. Secondly, whenever it gets tough when you're studying and you think this is too much, this is overwhelming, I feel burnt out, the thing that kept me motivated was thinking I want to be the night before the exam going to sleep knowing I did everything possible to prepare myself. The exam is a pass, no pass situation. So if you put in extra effort and you really go above and beyond, you're gonna be successful on exam day. Additionally, you wanna find an outlet to de-stress. I found that playing the piano and getting some exercise by swimming really helped me refocus and re-energize. Typically my day went like this. I would review my material in the morning, begin whatever I had to do during Barbary, eat lunch, go swim and work out, and come back and get after it the rest of the day. Whatever you do, you need to realize that when you're relaxing or when you're taking time for yourself, that is studying in itself. You're preparing yourself mentally and you're giving yourself that necessary time to recoup, re-energize, and internalize what you've already studied. Those are my general tips for studying for the bar. I will have another video where I explain my strategies on the essays, which I found to be the most daunting part of the exam, as well as a video of what it really is like on the day of the exam. If you have any questions, comment below and good luck.